Welcome back to MPI TV, sponsored by Hyatt Hotels. MPI's DEI committee has been doing great work since its inception, and while here at WEC, the committee met with MPI leadership to discuss next steps for diversity and inclusion. I am really myself committed to DEI efforts. I speak over them um, as a trans man in MPI. Uh, there's not a lot of um, out there, um, tr like at least trans and gender non-conforming representation, and so I felt that I could serve um, as that and let my voice be heard as a, as a voice of that community that doesn't often get heard. I'm most proud of the intentionality of things like this, getting our messages to the board, getting our messages of what the committee is doing um, out to other chapters um, organically. I think that is one of the most important things uh, when you're introducing DEI into any structure is those people doing the work actually being able to have their voices heard by boards. A lot has happened in 2020. The committee meeting I just came out of with diversity and inclusion is a clear example. The chapters need some leadership, they need reconnecting, and so that's a real top priority for me. We've created a role of the hygiene and well-being leader. It's incorporated in every single Hyatt across the globe. And I'm excited to be a part of this program. We are honored to be the very first hotel brand to receive the Global Bio-Risk Advisory Council accreditation. To become an accredited facility that shows the leadership that Hyatt has provided to this industry. 